Hi guys, welcome to one of my favorite subjects, which is the subject of literature. <laughs> guys, I love literature. I breathe and I live literature. The reason why I love literature is because it's lit. Literature. <laughs> I hope you guys heard what I just said there. But we're hoping that by the end of this video tutorial, you guys will develop a passion, an interest and maybe perhaps a little bit of some positive attitude towards this subject because i understand that intimidates it intimidates many of you but there is nothing intimidating about literature we are going to demystify and simplify it for you so without wasting much of your time let's get into it so today we are going to deal with uh, two of the most fundamental aspects of poetic writing which are realism and naturalism realism and naturalism but we are going to remove the word naturalism with non-fiction so today we are going to look into realism and non-fiction and the reason why we are looking into these aspects is because there is a question that was sent to us that we have to answer so that students get a better understanding and it's the question that has been that is highlighted in blue so the question says in a well constructed and grammatically correct paragraph explain in your own words the terms realism and non-fiction and then it says are these two terms interchangeable explain why or not so what this question requires you to do is to first of all define the term realism and of course define the term non-fiction you're, you're supposed to define realism and non-fiction and after defining realism and non-fiction you are supposed to analyze if these two terms are the same if you say interchangeable, in other words, you can use realism in place of nonfiction, or you can use nonfiction in place of realism. They can be used interchangeably. In other words, you are supposed to analyze if they are synonyms, if they are words defining, if they are words meaning the same thing. And as we define these two terms, we actually find out that these two terms look similar but they are very different in the sense that realism might be assumed to purporting reality a reality of which reality and non-fiction are two similar terms but realism in lit reality in general terms and realism in literature are two diverse two parallel terms and this realism is realism in literature not reality in general terms so Realism is a movement in art, whilst nonfiction is a genre of literature. Realism is a movement in art, whilst nonfiction is a genre in literature. So let's dig, let, let's dig deep into realism. Realism. See, there's, there's a plethora of pictures on my um let me just go to my document and define it so as you can see it says that realism is a movement in art which started in the mid 19th century in france and later spread to the entire world realism entered literature at almost at the same time its real objective was to root out it means to remove what is called fantastic and romantic literature and art to insert what is real so Realism is, is, is a period of time when people were rooting out some form of writing, replacing it with another form of writing. That form of writing, is, it's, it's, it's what they said is, what, what, what they termed real. They were removing fantastic and romantic writing. In other words, back, back, back in the day, people used to love a lot of metaphors, a lot of figurative languages, a lot of sweet nothings, a lot of good sounding words, but without the real sense. So realism is that movement where people are saying, no, we don't want to be showered with sweet nothings. We don't want to be showered with figurative language, metaphors and whatever. We want 
the real stuff if this person is beautiful don't say that she is beautiful like the sun shining in the in the star no just say this person is pretty and is gorgeous that's all that's realism it's a movement which was rooting out fantastic and romantic literature and art to insert what is real in literature so in literature writers use realism as a literary technique to describe a story element such as setting characters themes without using elaborate imagery or figurative language such as similes and metaphors so though realism writers explain things without decorative language or sugarcoating the events realism is something opposite to romanticism and idealism so basically these in realism you don't sugarcoat events you don't exaggerate you don't dramatize events you write the events as accurate as possible you write everything as it is so i think we have defined realism now let's let's go to non-fiction none or non-fiction if i'm nigerian i'll say non-fiction non-fiction so let's go into non-fiction so non-fiction by contrast to realism is factual and factual reports on true events histories biographies journalism and essays that are all that are all considered nothing usually non-fiction is a higher standard to uphold than fiction a few smatterings of fact in a work of fiction does not make it true while a few fabrications in a non-fiction work can force that story to lose all credibility so basically a non-fiction we are looking at a, a genre a, a way of writing literature realism it's just a movement it's as simple as that so guys this is an interesting topic in, in in the sense that i stumbled upon some some beautiful art a beautiful article let me check it in my history so yeah the article is opening now i just fetched it from my uh, from from my browser history and if you guys want the link to this article uh i can send you the link uh i got it from my uh, browsing history and as you can see this is the website i'll send you the link it writes how much realism does your novel really need <laughs> love the juxtapositioning of realism and really people have a good play with words and i can see here there's a woman who is appearing that's the author of the novel i just have to make sure that i acknowledge her as the author i don't know what her name, her name is but she is good i tell you you need to read it but we are going to go through the novel through this article i mean together so as i said the title is how much realism does your novel really need so she says that uh novels are of real life they must mimic that life with enough realism to allow readers to suspend their disbelief and invest themselves in characters and plot scenarios so in order to connect with readers we strive to create those realistic characters and settings but here's a question every writer should be asking are readers really as interested in realism as we think they are so basically she Yes, so she's trying to analyze if writers really need to use realism or do readers actually enjoy a bit of realism. In other words, do we as readers enjoy novels that are very factual and are bringing facts as they are? No sugarcoating, no metaphor, no figurative language, no exaggeration. You know, it's just like a movie like 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 a movie it's just depicting events as they are there is no uh, cgi effects you know there is no electricity coming from a person's hands there's no iron man they, i mean you know so, so that's what she's looking into do people really need do readers look for something real and that is what she's basically analyzing and i think it's very good for you to read this article why because it's going to help you answer this question here um where well, the question says write a paragraph in which you discuss discuss why educators should be wary of realism as a genre for learners so guys i don't want to delve much deep into this whole thing but look this is writing.co.za and what we do is we help you with any assignment that you are struggling so i'm gonna leave this video tutorial here 
so that you guys can discuss and please ask us questions so that we can answer ask us questions that we can answer thank you guys for watching this is riety.co.za